Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, we got a surprise for Monkey's mom. It's the day after Mother's Day. She didn't think we got her anything or anything like that, but we're taking her on a trip. She's never seen, she's seen a million, you know, sunrises from Daytona, but we're gonna take her to the west coast of Florida to see the sun set. She don't know that, she just thinks, I got to go down and do some work on somebody's house for him. So I said, you know, let's just, let's just all three go. I'll tell you more about that later, but we're going to be there three days. It's going to be cool. So stick around, guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. going to be several videos. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'll give you a quick tour of the cottage we rented. Um, we did this for her mom for Mother's Day. And like I said, she's been wanting to take her to see the sunset. Oh, light in the shower. Nice, huge shower. I like that shower head. Um, She's been wanting to, you know, bring her down to see the sunset because it is beautiful. And, you know, always one thing or another, you know, she was sick all last year pretty much. And then we didn't have the money and so we splurged and we rented this for two nights. This is the master bedroom. And, of course, we've got a closet here shower chair that's good for mom of course we got central air let me show you her bedroom this is her little bedroom big dresser and 
and a set of bunk beds. I don't think she's gonna be sleeping on top, but this is like a full size bed on the bottom one. There's a little closet there, there's the ladder. I'm gonna take you outside here. They have games. Mouse trap. What is that? Rummy Cub and uh, puzzles, Monopoly, Risk, all kinds of stuff there. Connect four. So stuff to do if it's a bad day out or you know, crappy day. This is nice. Penny table. This is what I want to do to my bench in the garage. I haven't decided if I'm going to yet or not. And this is the back patio area, backyard area. We have a grill. I'm going to be using that tomorrow. So we've got plenty of chairs out here. So let me get this locked up here. TV for your viewing pleasure. I'll take you out front. This is nice. Nice clean place. Big front patio. That's for my viewing pleasure. <laughs> Been upgraded disc brakes, got a turbocharger on it. You think guys should I buy it and do it do a will it run and drive home video or what? You got a boat there. This is washer and dryer, the laundry room. There's other stuff in there. They got beach chairs and all kinds of things in there. It's also got a little gas grill, propane grill in there if we need it. Cool little bench there. You guys want to sit out front. You got a water hose. Yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. A two hour drive. Well, a little over two hours because of traffic, but yeah, so I'm going to leave that light on. They messaged me or emailed me when I was on the way here and told me that they left the porch light on and the light on in here for us. We have a night light in here so that's the tour of the little cottage so it's laid out different but it's about the size of our house without the garage so in fact i think this used to be a garage that is definitely an add-on back there those two rooms are an add-on so i think this probably used to be a garage at one time but so yeah we've got well, there's a mat in there, but there's barbecue grill stuff in there. Um, oops. There's utensils, cooking stuff. Cool, I'm gonna need those pans. I didn't bring any cutting board. I'm gonna need for tomorrow. Ooh, there's a griddle. That's good because Monkey brought some bacon and eggs. And then you got your cups, bottles for, for kids. You got paper plates and regular glass plates and bowls. Yeah, microwave and, you know, the fridge. So, um, this stuff was already in here for us to use. Um, nothing in the freezer. Oh, well, my cigarettes. Ice maker, water, and then we got, there's some grill stuff there, some more grill stuff. All the stuff you would need, cleaning products. They also supply the uh, laundry detergent and fabric softener. So yeah, um, pretty nice, pretty nice place. All right, so I'm going to grab the key in my phone, and we're going to head over to the beach. I'm going to see if I can catch a sunset for you. All right, there we go. So let me get you on the stand, and we're going to head over to the beach. We're 12 miles away. It says 33 minutes. So we're going to head over. It is almost 5 o'clock. We're going to get something to eat. Like I said, tomorrow night I'm going to be cooking on the grill so this should be fun stick around guys all right guys we're at st pete beach gulf of mexico right there right around here a few years ago 
We were right up there. That's the brass monkey. The brass monkey. I'll zoom in on that for you. And a few years ago, we were on top of this building right there. That's called the Hurricane Seafood Restaurant. And you can actually, there's technically three floors now. The second floor is what you're looking at there, and then you can go up on the roof and watch the sunset. So that's pretty cool. This is beach access right here. Sorry about the wind. Sailboat there. Must be anchored off. Because he don't have the sails up. Where'd he go? way out there there's the sailboat this is one of my favorite places all right guys check this out look at that view Like I said a couple years ago, Monkey and I sat in here and ate and had a couple drinks. Sorry about the wind. Whew. We wanted to bring her mom up here, whoops, but the elevator's not working, so. Uh, that, ho that hotel. Pink Hotel is supposed to be haunted. And we wanted to take her mom there one time. It was like $750 a night for a room with a view of the Gulf Coast. Bring your money. We put the time, the effort of selecting only the best. Every game's going to be here. We're looking for nothing but the top. Again, sorry for the wind. There's that sailboat we were looking at earlier. Because we're parked right down there. Actually, just right over there. We're going to be going right down there tonight, or after we get done eating. We're going to sit down there, catch a view of the sunset. It's beautiful. So, there's the brass monkey over there. There's two bars here. There's one on this side. And one on this side. So, alright. So, now, I'm going to film this going down these steps for you, so you'll see why Whew, her mom couldn't make it. It's out of order. It's been out of order for quite some time. Okay, here we go. I'll speed it up for you, though. This is the second floor. Looks like they're closed. Oh, yeah, this is, they were open before, but you can book an event here. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Not quite there yet. There we go. Wow, so we're sitting around front and uh, so I think I'm gonna do a live stream of this tonight, the sunset and how y'all doing? And uh, so that'd be cool and then 
tomorrow night I'm going to be uh, I'm going to put the drone up about 400 feet Whew. and we'll get a sunset on the drone footage all right there they are there's Bruno he came right. I'll be back with you guys this is pretty cool guys check it out looks like that cruise ship or whatever it is is hovering but it's not isn't that cool looks like it's hovering above the sea Come here, honey, look at this. Hi, check this out. Look, it looks like it's hovering. Oh, yeah. Above the sea, look. Oh, yeah. That's cool. See? Yeah. Oh, your camera's amazing. Look at that. It freaking is. Looks like it's hovering above the sea. Yeah. Now, look. Yeah. She can't even see it. That's probably about 10, 15 miles. Yeah. Wilson! What the heck is that thing?
they ring the bell for a safe return from the sailors and the fishermen. Beautiful. Okay guys, so that's going to be the end of day one. Um, I know the live stream sucked, but for some reason my phone kept wanting to focus in on something. I, I don't know if it was the waves or what. It went out of focus real bad. I couldn't bring it back in. Then I couldn't zoom in or out. It just kind of got stuck there. So I don't know what was going on with that. Of course, the sound is horrible, with, but I forgot. I brought my mic for my phone. It was in my pocket. I didn't put it on. Uh, but you'll see some of that that here if you didn't watch the live stream if you didn't I'm not even going to tell you to go watch it because it's it's not really worth it it's only three and a half minutes of nothing well I mean you get to see it but I think this this showed it better um, I know it was windy and everything like that but still you guys just can't I can't it describe to you how beautiful that sunset was it was the brightest red I'd ever seen in my life it was gorgeous I know this camera ain't going to do it justice either but it's always beautiful there but tonight just the way the clouds were it was just something different it, just the, the color was just looked like a tomato I even mentioned that it looked like a tomato going into the sunset or the sunset going into the looks like you know it looks like it's going into the water so tomorrow we're going to watch the sunset again uh, weather permitting it's it's windy there you know that's the Gulf Coast um, weather permitting uh, I'm going to put my drone up and um, see if I can get it from about 400 feet so that should be pretty cool but Anyway, so I want to thank you guys for watching. That's the end of day one. I'm going to finish my cigarette. I'm going to edit this video for you guys. So most of you guys probably won't see it until tomorrow. But that's fine. Um, like I said, sorry about the the uh, the, the live the live stream. I, I don't know what was going on. But that's I hate that phone. I almost brought my old phone. And I should have. But I didn't. Because I can hotspot off a of monkey's phone. So that's how I'm going live and stuff. My phone's still not turned on. I still haven't got a got another phone. Cause I'm not going back with T Mobile again or whoever it was. I'm not I'm going back to Cricket. So but and I'll be glad to get another phone. Because that thing's horrible. The camera's horrible. The mic is horrible. But yeah, it's just um so that wasn't that great, but hopefully this camera picked it up pretty good. And I don't know if you heard, I was trying to talk to you, but the wind was blowing hard. They they ring the bell. They usually let, try to find a, a kid to ring that bell. Um, he usually tells a story, but he didn't tonight. But he tells the story of why they ring the bell every night. It's for to um, kind of like a prayer to 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 wish your your uh, man home safe from the sea. Like back in the day, it was fishermen. And, the sailors and stuff but it's mostly fishermen to to bring them luck and bring them home safely so that's what the bell ringing was for so that's pretty cool maybe tomorrow night they'll tell the story I'm not sure but man that was the most beautiful sunset I ever seen in my life and that's not kidding this camera I know is not going to do it justice wow it was spectacular just the color of it just was amazing so you guys ever get you down to Tampa area, St. Pete, that's where we was at, St. Pete Beach, and if you can, swing past and just watch the sunset, it's amazing, alright guys, thanks for watching, I appreciate it, Shea Bear, I hope everyone had a good Mother's Day, Shea Bear, the Myth the Man the Legend, I'm gone for now, we'll see you guys in the next one, stay tuned for, you know, day two, um, tomorrow's going to involve some cooking, so I'll bring you along with me for that. We'll make some stuffed peppers and um, ribs on the grill. So that's going. That should be a good one. 
We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye and take care.